So guys, I came across an idiot. Like, that's the nicest way to put it. I'm sorry, this person is an idiot. They posted a video on Facebook showing themselves sitting in the passenger seat while their Tesla Model X was driving itself. This video blew up. Like, it got so many views and shares and likes within, like, hours. And the comment section is just full of so much bad information. Like, there are a few people kind of stating the facts and spreading awareness, but most people don't know. So Tesla full self-driving, it is not literally full self-driving yet. It's not fully autonomous. So when you activate autopilot on your Tesla and navigate on autopilot and any other feature like that, there's a big pop-up that says like warning, this does not make your car fully autonomous. You need to be pay attention at all times, be able to take over immediately. Like it says that before you press agree. So yeah, this person clearly didn't do this because he was acting like what he was doing was no problem at all. Now, I don't know if he's trolling me or what. If you're a Tesla owner, a Tesla fanatic, part of the Tesla community that probably outraged you, even if you have no clue about what Tesla does or is, it probably freaked you out because yeah, that isn't supposed to happen right now. We are not fully autonomous. So the first issue, <laughs> And I don't want to expose this person's name. Like that's not the point of this video. It's just to spread awareness and to share, you guys, share with you guys what is right and what is wrong. And this video is wrong. And everything this person tells me is wrong. So the first thing he said, he said, this is what I purchased to allow it to do it. So he basically showed that he bought Tesla full self-driving. That was the first, that was the first like trigger of me. Like, no, like, Spending $8,000 on full self-driving capability does not make your car autonomous. That's just the name. Either you're very misinformed or you're stupid or you're just scamming people for a lot of views on, on Facebook, but I don't know. So on that little picture of the full self-driving, I said, dude, can you not mislead people? Buying full self-driving does not allow you to do this. It nags you every minute or so to touch the steering wheel. And then someone responded and said, yep, the video is bogus. But there was another part where we had a very long conversation. So someone says, so all the newer ones does this or the older ones as well. You a good salesman because I almost sold, because I almost sold because I'm researching as we speak. So literally this is what I'm talking about. This video is so misleading. It has people looking into buying Teslas. I said literally none of them do this. You have to sit in the driver's seat. This video is illegal and misleading. So then the owner of this video replied and he says, what am I misleading? And he said, this is what I purchased this morning. And it was an invoice of full self-driving. At this point, I can already tell this is going to be a very frustrating conversation. Do you ever have a conversation with somebody where you know you know way more than them, but they're so hard-headed that they will never admit that you're right? Like, this is the conversation. I said, yeah, I own a Tesla. It literally doesn't mean full self-driving. And asked you to con confirm you're paying attention by touching the steering wheel, you need to quit misleading people. It's not designed the way you are showing it right now. Please tell me what would happen if there was debris in the road. This car doesn't auto stop all the time. Do you have the car faked to thinking your seatbelt is on? Because that's another question I had. Because with autopilot, if you take your seatbelt off and like get in the passenger seat, the second you take your seatbelt off, autopilot's going to turn off. So that was like, what are you doing? You're scamming. Like, what are you doing wrong? And this guy says, yes, you have to touch the steering wheel every 10 to 15... 10 to 50 seconds never said you didn't dude your video is two minutes long and you never once showed yourself touching the steering wheel so one yes you did indirectly say you didn't have to touch it like you're misleading people you're trying to make one big big like flex video but I, to, to him i said that means you need to be in the driver's seat that is to confirm you're paying attention and can take over any second how the hell are you supposed to do that from the passenger seat and he said, reach over and touch the steering wheel every second. How hard is that? I'm confused on what you're saying, sir. See, at th this is what's getting me. At this point, I don't know if he's actually this delusional. Like, he thinks he can just confirm that he's paying attention from the passenger seat. Do you not see the big reason, the big problem with this? What happens if someone pulls in front of you and your Tesla doesn't respond? What happens if a child runs into the road and it doesn't stop? What happens if there's a literally a mattress in the road that you can't go past because the car doesn't see that. These are all like examples. If you're going too fast or in certain situations, it's going to not stop. 
you need to not be so careless. And I said, I su suggest you do further research before continuing this dangerous act and also showing it to millions of people. I'm assuming you didn't read these warnings and I put a screenshot of the navigate on autopilot warning. So I'll put that one right here on the screen and also the autopilot warning. He had to say yes or agree to both of those before he started, which I assume he didn't. I'll read both. So the auto steer beta. So auto steer is what keeps your car in the lane at all times. So it says auto steer is a driver assistance feature and does not make your vehicle autonomous. Please use it only if you pay attention to the road. Keep your hands on the steering wheel and be prepared to take over at any time. Auto steer is designed for use on highways that have a center divider, clear lane markings, and no cross traffic. It should not be used on highways that have very sharp turns or lane markings that are absent, faded, or ambiguous. Auto steer is currently in beta, which we say to encourage a higher level of vigilance. If this were a computer or mobile phone, we would not refer it to as a beta, but we believe the standards are considerably higher for vehicle control and want to be clear about the proper use of auto steer. Do you want to enable auto steer while it is in beta? So he hit yes. I would like to, I would like to um, just preface this. So auto steer isn't part of that $8,000 upgrade. The $8,000 upgrade provides navigate on autopilot. So just, just to give him the benefit of the doubt, this is a navigate on autopilot. So this is like one of the features he would have enabled after paying for full self-driving. And it says navigate on autopilot does not make your model three autonomous or any other vehicle. Like other autopilot features, the driver is still responsible for the car at all times. It literally says the same thing. Like you get my drift. I'm not gonna just read it all, but I'll put it on the screen and you can pause it. And I said, how are you supposed to take over? If you need to hit the brakes, you can't do that from the passenger seat. You can't possibly believe this is okay. And pff, this is the part that gets me. Like, you, it's clear this dude is just about flexing because he says, you have a Model 3. Come on, man. Maybe I purchased a defective X. So when you put an address into your navigation, it doesn't proceed to route. So first of all, he's claiming that my Model 3 cannot perform the same way as Model X. Dude, believe me. Full self-driving performs exactly the same on a new Model X versus my Model 3. It's the same thing. We both have hardware 3. He's saying that you can put an address into your car and it will just go there, which isn't correct. Your car will basically go straight and auto steer and maybe turn like right if it's not too sharp of a turn. It will stop at stop signs and traffic lights. That's it. It's not going to like go to your house. So I said, you're telling me your car turns left and right at traffic lights and parks itself automatically in a parking spot with zero intervention. Intervention, You are delusional. It currently just stays in lines and goes off ramps and stops at stop signs and traffic lights. It is not fully autonomous. Model X and Model 3 have identical full self-driving features. And he said this, I'm about to go live so you can see for yourself. Then you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm new to this. I drive Rolls Royces and Camaros with big ass wheels. Maybe they sold me a defective car. I don't know where he keeps going with this with a defective car. Like, I don't believe it. Um, so the only thing about the defective car is the seatbelt. Like, that's the only thing that, pre that prevented him from going in the passenger seat. So one, it is defective. Or two, he has some type of a device in there that prevents you from wearing your seatbelt. Because if you check the video, he, the seatbelt was not latched. So that's the one thing I'm curious about. Like. You should not be able to um, turn on autopilot when the seatbelt isn't on. Either way, like, beside the seatbelt part, this is ridiculous. And I said, please go live and show me it doing more than driving straight. Show it turning at a four-way stop sign. Show it doing a 90-degree turn. Show it pulling up in your driveway. That is all the stuff that I would do if it was fully autonomous, and it isn't. I said, my point is, if you have to hop in the driver's seat before you can get to your destination, it is not full self-driving and you need to keep your butt in the driver's seat before you kill somebody. And he said, did you purchase the upgrade for $8,000? Do you hear this loud car? Do you hear this loud crap I deal with? Did you purchase the upgrade for $8,000? Mine wouldn't do none of that at first. I said, yes, I purchased it for $8,000. You can literally see the list of things you bought. 
It says navigate on city streets coming soon. When you activate the autopilot, navigate on autopilot, warnings popped up and you agreed to them. So at this point, if you get into an accident, it's, it's off Tesla's hands. I'm just warning you. I've had a Tesla for nearly two years. They are not meant to drive like this. In time, an update will come, but now is not the time. And he said, what am I doing wrong? And I said, you need to be in the driver's seat at all times. And that's someone else commented and they said, you really shouldn't be promoting illegal activity like this. You're sp supposed to be in the driver's seat ready to take over because things can go wrong, especially on city streets. Yes, exactly. Bingo. Okay, and the person of this video literally just responded and said, I'm not promoting, I'm showing what you, you what my vehicle is, I purchased is doing. Maybe I need to sue Tesla for selling this to me. Dude, like social media, you don't have to have the intention of promoting something, but you are. Basically anybody that uploads a video to the internet, whether you want to believe it or not, you are an influencer. You're just influencing people to feel and act and have knowledge in a certain way. And you're basically telling all of these people that this is okay. Like you didn't put a disclaimer. You're literally acting like this is what you can do. If you would have said like, do not do this. This is stupid. Like I'm dumb. I could kill people. That's one thing. But you're literally uploading the video, not showing that you have to touch the steering wheel every, every few seconds. And then you're basically saying that you can do this if you pay $8,000. And the funny thing is, this guy's caption to the video is, if Tesla was the only cars on the road, it wouldn't be any accidents. Do you, the fact that you don't see the irony in that is crazy. Because there's postings online all the time about Tesla, Tesla's in accidents when they were on autopilot. And the reason is because the driver was not paying attention. They're either on their phone or watching videos or doing stupid stuff like this. I don't know what else can be done. Um, there is a sensor on the driver's seat. So I'm assuming Tesla can activate that, make the Tesla check that the sensor is activated, the seatbelt is on, anything else that they can do because this is just kind of getting out of control. And I pretty much can assume full self-driving is not going to be out for literally a few years at least where you could sit in the back. It's gonna be out where it's gonna drive around, but it's going to want you to pay attention and supervise at all times. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I actually made another similar video. Some TikTok idiots did a very similar video and I responded to that. I'll put it right here. I'll put another video here. Subscribe to my channel right here. Have a great day. Bye.